Well, this time of year, I am picking lots of dead dropping leaves out of my topiary. And Stuart was saying that I missed a spot when I was pruning these. And I told him no, that I did not miss a spot, that this was very intentional. I left it here because I wanted to show you guys that this is how I would make another tier in a topiary. And whether it's another tier or this is just a rough shrub with an outlying stem that's a lot taller, this is how you would make another level. So I've got one, two, three here. And if I wanted this to have a fourth ball on top, then I would just continue to let this vertical stem grow. I could select one or the other or just leave them both. This stem will continue to grow longer. And as soon as there was a space in between this level and my projected level, then that's when I would clip off the top so it didn't grow anymore. Does that make sense? So in this case, I want these to stay at just three levels. So now that will make Stuart happy that I just pruned off that section. Now, yes, I could save this to make a topiary out of, but I'm not going to. Okay, it's the same thing with this one. These are just really happy right now. And you can see that there's some vertical growth. Stuart, if you could come around on this side too and, and show how there are a number that are starting to go upward skywards. But if I wanted another level, this is probably the one that I would keep. So I'll prune these back. And I would just continue to let this one grow vertically. And this one wouldn't need that much more height before the distance between this one and this one would about equal the distance between the top of this ball and the bottom of this ball. So I'll let it get a little bit taller and then I would pinch it off at the top and that would make it start going horizontally and filling out and bushing out. But since I don't want a fourth ball, on this one. I'm just going to clip it off. That will make Stuart happy. <laughs> He's starting to notice those kind of things now. Okay, so come over here and you can just see, Stuart, just show how I've had to move lots of the topiaries all around chasing the sunlight. And on LVTV, I'm getting ready to do a bunch of, of topiary work on some rosemaries and things. Now, come over here to my little boxwood corner. And here is another example. This was just a standard on one stem. You see that it actually started to branch and fill out at this level. And it is starting to put another vertical stem out that has potential for another ball on my poodle form. So this one I'm going to keep because I want this one to turn into a double. So I'm going to keep that one. I might even let this one grow and see if it catches up to see which one is going to grow the fastest. But these I'm going to leave. I might prune just a little bit around the edge. I'm going to do lots of tidying up on my boxwood. But this one I'm going to leave. And eventually it will just keep growing straighter and straighter if I need to. I can um, support it and train it more vertically on some kind of dowel or some kind of stick. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it alone and let it put on more vertical growth. Now, come over here to the messy side of my driveway because I want to give you a progress report on one, and I'll put a link to this video below. This is the one that I started out from scratch earlier in the season. And this one had done the same thing. It just had a strong central stem. I clipped off all the foliage before it, below it, and then I'm training this one into a ball. And by next year, this will pretty much be 
full and very much have the feel of a double ball topiary. And again, I will put the link below to the video where I did this one. Where Stuart, I think some of you may remember because Stuart cut the head off and you guys you couldn't see the top ball. But now you can see what it looks like. So the, what the end result is. And now one more thing, this is, I probably shouldn't show you my ugly driveway, but look at how the things on the front of the compost pile are starting to bloom. And I've got more room to stick some things in there. You never know what's going on in the compost pile. So, so many of you have asked about that. How do you just start a topiary? Well, that's basically it. And if you go to your nursery center, to your home improvement store, whatever, just look for something that's got an outlying stem that's really long that you could train to stand up straight and tall.